Alright, what's up guys, come back in a video, it's Badmark here, today we're gonna talk about the loot train in Warzone. And most probably it's gonna come in season 5, so this video is gonna be about loot train, the theory, plus some season 5 updates, and some season 5 theories you can say. So let's get it. So since Call of Duty Warzone has been released uh, this year, before the coronavirus lockdown actually, uh, the map hasn't changed a lot. So Warzone, the free standalone battle royale title that exists in parallel with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, is not well competing to its rival Fortnite. Mostly the game has talked to new operators and an ongoing story about the fictional city of Verdansk where Warzone takes place. A new addition to the map was the latest bunkers. We've had a number of leaks, hints, teasers and other clues of the fate of Warzone in Season 5. The map first could be nuked, we may get a running train similar to Apex Legends, and one of the major points of interest may undergo a massive change. The last one is a reference to the stadium, a giant port of interest that has remained close to players since the beginning. You can run around the stadium, loot the stadium, hide in the stadium, and go on top of the stadium, but you can't go in. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 5 is just around the corner. Following Infinity Ward's teasers and a couple of leaks shared by the community, we're starting to build a clear picture of what lies ahead for Modern Warfare and Warzone. Trains might be the new addition to Verdansk soon, and mysterious chess pieces are being sent to content creators. But I didn't receive one yet. So it looks like Verdansk is getting trains. The loot train topic has been in the topics between the community and the streamers a lot. As well as suggesting the date and time of Season 5 arrival, the first teaser video shows the player standing inside a train. If the windshield and railway tracks weren't enough of a hint, there's also a loud horn to signify that trains may have a larger role in the next season. Many Call of Duty YouTubers have analyzed the footage in some uploaded videos and have even visited the exact spot where the teaser was set. As expected, it's right opposite the train station, with the carriage already parked on the tracks. There's no way to get inside, but judging by the teaser, Season 5 may unlock the doors to encourage players aboard. So far, the community is comparing it to the train of Apex Legends, and this train will actually carry a desirable loot. Warzone's map already features tunnels and a long railway line, which make these predictions more likely to happen. If it is anything like Apex Train, this addition should become a chaotic landing spot. Similar to the loot choppers that you could shoot down mid-game, the loot train will have much valuable loot items which you yourself and your team could loot. And if you get to a UAV in this train, it might be the difference between your life and death at the end of the game. Okay guys, focus with me on this. Call of Duty recently tweeted stating that if the stadium had a name, what would it be? Our doors are open to any ideas, drop them below. It's the second sentence that holds the key. Our doors are open. This sentence is hinting at something huge. A little play on words that makes it quite clear that Stadium is opening its doors next season and players will be able to loot and barrel inside. Imagine enabling a mod where you can play soccer inside the Stadium. Now that would be ridiculous and this was actually done in Fortnite back in the day. That's very exciting guys, I know. One of my favorite points of interest is the prison. It is because it has a fun interior, both in the lower level and the upper level. And I also love the outdoor courtyard. It's a great spot for loot and fun place to throw down against enemy players. Stadium should have much the same appeal. Like imagine sniping someone from the stadium up top, from the VIP section, and killing someone maybe in the terrain playing. Nukes have been on players' minds since the Warzone bunkers first appeared in Vendansk. It was especially hard to access Bunker 11, attracting a lot of attention from curious players. We already know that Warzone will connect the different Call of Duty series, and gearing up for Season 4, there was more talk of war, with leaks pointing to the Cold War, as a destination for the next Call of Duty game. If some sort of explosion is inbound to reshape the Warzone map, I think the stadium would be the point where this explosion is gonna take place. With everything I said in this video guys, I have a question for you, or for us. Will the loot train actually help us get a victory royale? There's no guarantee that it will, but I certainly hope it does. There's nothing like that opening good start to give you a boost of confidence in a tense Warzone match. Let's be honest guys, it's probably worth a try. I'm gonna finish this video guys by saying, it's very expected that Activision will continue to tease this year's Call of Duty game, hinting at Black Ops Cold War in Warzone with the launch of Season 5. So here you go guys, now you know everything about the train theory in Warzone. Do you wanna see a loot train roaming in the map in Warzone? Let me know in the comments down below, let me know if you hate this idea, if you love this idea, I wanna know your thoughts about this. Make sure you smash the like button if you want more videos about Warzone. I might also upload a new montage of me playing Warzone, my best skills, my best victory royals, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and turn this bell on, so you'll be the first to hear about my videos. Thank you guys for watching, it's been Bad Mike once again with another video, and I'll see you guys in the next Bad Mike video, see you guys, peace out.